As the sun dipped below the Gotham skyline, casting long shadows across the city, a bittersweet moment unfolded atop Wayne Manor. The bat signal loomed high above, signaling the call for a guardian, a silent sentinel who had watched over Gotham for years. Yet on this particular night, it was the dimming of a different light that weighed heavily on Batman's heart. Dick Grayson, the boy wonder who had grown into Robin had decided that the time had come for a new chapter in his life. The decision to leave Gotham, the city he had protected for so long, was not made lightly. For years, he had been Bruce Wayne's most trusted ally and confidant, but now, the winds of change had swept him away. Gotham had been their crucible, a city of shadows and secrets a place that had molded both Batman and Robin into the heroes they were today. But it was also a place that could devour the soul if one wasn't careful. For Dick, college had become an irresistible beacon of opportunity, a chance to explore a world beyond the grim streets of Gotham, to expand his horizons, and to pursue his own dreams. The night was cool, and the rooftop felt emptier than it ever had before, as Batman and Robin stood there, gazing at the city they had sworn to protect. Words were few, but their silence spoke volumes. Batman knew he had to let his protege go, to encourage him to follow his own path, as much as it pained him. You've got this, Dick. Batman finally said in a low, gravelly voice. College is just another kind of training ground. And I know you'll make a difference out there, just as you did here. Robin nodded, the hint of a smile playing on his lips. I couldn't have asked for a better mentor, Bruce. You taught me everything I know. The bat signal above them seemed to flicker for a moment, as if acknowledging the passage of an era. The two heroes shared a final, wordless understanding, their bond as strong as ever. With a nod, Robin spread his wings, his red and black costume catching the faint light. He leapt gracefully into the night, leaving Batman alone on the rooftop. The Dark Knight watched his former sidekick disappear into the Gotham skyline, his heart heavy with both pride and sadness. Gotham would continue to stand in the face of its darkest threats, and Batman would remain the ever-vigilant guardian. But the absence of Robin left a void, a reminder that even heroes needed to spread their wings, to seek new horizons, and to chase their dreams. As the night unfolded around him, Batman knew that Gotham would always be his responsibility, but he also understood that Dick Grayson was embarking on a new journey of his own, one that would lead to greater things. Alfred Pennyworth, as always, was attuned to the emotional pulse of Wayne Manor. He knew that the departure of Dick Grayson had cast a shadow over Bruce Wayne's heart, and he felt it was time for a quiet conversation in the dimly lit study. Alfred, with a tray bearing two cups of tea, entered the room and found Bruce gazing at a photo of Dick and him, taken when Dick had first become Robin. Bruce's expression was a mixture of pride and melancholy. 
Alfred set the tray down on the mahogany table and took a seat across from his employer. Tea, Master Wayne? He offered gently. Bruce nodded, his eyes still fixed on the photograph. Thank you, Alfred. Alfred poured the tea and pushed a cup towards Bruce. The aromatic steam wafted up, carrying with it a sense of warmth and comfort. After a sip, Alfred finally spoke, his voice a soothing presence in the room. Master Grayson's departure, though a moment of change, is a testament to the progress we've made here. Alfred began. He's grown into an exceptional young man, shaped by your guidance and the values you instilled in him. Bruce nodded in agreement, setting the photo aside. I know, Alfred. It's just difficult to accept that he's moved on. Gotham won't be the same without Robin by my side. Alfred placed a reassuring hand on Bruce's, his eyes showing understanding. Change can be unsettling, but it's also a sign of growth, both for him and for us. And even though he's left Gotham, his influence on this city will continue to be felt. Bruce looked up, a glimmer of hope in his eyes. You're right, Alfred. I'm proud of the man he's become. He's out there making a difference on his own terms. Alfred smiled gently. And, Master Wayne, your mission remains as vital as ever. Gotham still needs its dark night, and you too will continue to make a profound impact on this city. The two of them sat in silence for a while, sipping their tea, taking comfort in each other's company. The weight of Dick's departure remained, but with Alfred's words, a sense of reassurance began to settle over Bruce. In the midst of change and the evolution of their roles, one thing remained constant, the unwavering support and understanding they found in each other. As the night deepened and the shadows grew longer, Bruce Wayne knew that his responsibility to Gotham endured, and he had Alfred Pennyworth's steadfast presence to help him carry that burden just as he had carried the burden of being a mentor to Dick Grayson all those years. The city of Gotham, shrouded in its perpetual cloak of darkness, had long been a breeding ground for the bizarre and the malevolent. The city's underworld churned with twisted ambitions and its back alleys whispered secrets that dared not see the light of day. But even within the city's grim tapestry of crime, a new and mysterious presence had emerged, a figure that sent shivers down the spines of both criminals and law-abiding citizens alike. Batman, the relentless guardian of Gotham, was no stranger to the city's dark underbelly. His cape billowed behind him, as he perched atop a towering gargoyle, surveying the ominous streets below. He had heard the murmurs, the chilling tales of a shadowy enigma who moved through the city with an eerie grace, leaving no trace and striking fear into the hearts of criminals. Tonight, Gotham's guardian had a name to chase, a new adversary known only as the Whisperer, this new criminal had managed to stay one step ahead of the Dark Knight, evading capture and defying all attempts to unveil their true identity. The city was rife with rumors, but no one could say for certain who or what the Whisperer was. With a silent glide, Batman descended from his perch and ventured into the city's darkest alleyways, the flickering neon lights casting eerie patterns on his armored suit. His mind raced as he sought to decipher the cryptic messages and clues left behind by this mysterious antagonist. The Whisperer's crimes were anything but ordinary. Perfectly executed heists, cryptic messages left for law enforcement, and an uncanny ability to vanish into thin air. The night air was heavy with tension as Batman followed the trail of whispers, 
determined to confront this new threat and uncover the truth. With each step, he could feel the city itself becoming a partner in this ominous dance of pursuit, its dark heart pulsing with malevolence. In a shadowed corner, Batman uncovered a message etched in blood-red paint, a riddle that seemed to be an invitation, or perhaps a warning. It read, The whisper of the night carries secrets untold. Seek me, dark night, where the echoes grow cold. Batman's jaw tightened. He had a destination, a starting point to confront the whisperer and unravel the enigma that had taken hold of Gotham. With steely determination, he disappeared into the shadows once more, ready to chase down the mysterious criminal who dared to challenge the unyielding might of the Dark Knight. In the heart of the city's darkness, the battle between light and shadow was about to intensify as the night whispered of secrets yet to be uncovered. The Gotham City Police Department's rooftop was cast in its usual pallid light, the bat signal illuminating the night sky, a symbol of hope amidst the chaos. Commissioner James Gordon stood there, the weight of Gotham's woes etched into his face. The moment Batman appeared from the shadows, he knew there was something pressing at hand. Batman, Gordon greeted his voice a gruff acknowledgement of the dark vigilante's presence. Commissioner. Batman replied in his low, gravelly tone. Gordon wasted no time getting to the heart of the matter. The Whisperer. That's what they're calling this new menace on the streets. I've never seen anything like it. It's as if they have access to information only our top officers should know. Batman's eyes were hidden beneath the cowl but Gordon could sense the intensity in his gaze. The whisper has been quite the enigma, leaving riddles, eluding capture, and striking with precision. What do you have so far? Gordon shuffled some files in a folder before producing a stack of cryptic notes and photographs. We've gathered some of their messages, riddles and puzzles, all with a sinister edge. Each one seems to be a challenge, not just to us, but to you. Batman examined the evidence, his keen analytical mind at work. They're taunting us, and they want me to play their game. Gordon nodded solemnly. Seems that way. We're at a loss here, Batman. This city's on edge. I need your help to put an end to this madness. Batman's cape seemed to ripple with a new sense of resolve. I'll find the Whisperer, Commissioner. But first, we need to piece together what connects these riddles and the locations where these crimes have occurred. Gordon handed over a city map marked with the locations of the Whisperer's crimes. This is everything we've got. Take a look and see if you can make sense of it. We're dealing with a criminal who has an intricate understanding of Gotham's dark corners. The two men stood in silence, each aware of the gravity of the situation. Batman's detective skills would be put to the ultimate test, unraveling the mysteries that lay hidden within Gotham shadows. And Commissioner Gordon would continue to walk the thin line between justice and the law, counting on the city's dark night to bring an end to the Whisperer's reign of terror. As the night deepened, the Bat Signal's beacon remained steady, a symbol of their enduring partnership their shared commitment to protect the city they both loved. Together, they would confront this new and mysterious threat, even if it meant facing the enigma known as the Whisperer head-on. Alfred Pennyworth was tending to the Batcave's many screens and gadgets when Batman returned from his investigation into the Whisperer. The underground lair hummed with the low hum of technology, 
but Alfred could sense the weight of the night's events on the dark night. Master Wayne, Alfred began, his voice carrying a tone of concern. I see you've returned. What have you uncovered about this enigmatic foe known as the Whisperer? Batman removed his cowl, revealing a face etched with determination. The Whisperer is unlike any adversary we've faced, Alfred. They leave riddles and puzzles at the scenes of their crimes, and they seem to anticipate my moves. It's as if they have a direct line into my thoughts. Alfred listened attentively, his steady gaze never wavering. A formidable challenge indeed, sir. This suggests an opponent who is highly intelligent with a deep understanding of your methods. Batman paced the Batcave, his cape trailing behind him. That's what worries me, Alfred. The Whisper's knowledge goes beyond what a typical criminal would possess. They're pushing my limits and my intellect to the extreme. Alfred moved closer, his voice unwavering in its support. You faced countless challenges, Master Wayne, and each time you've emerged victorious. This too shall be overcome. Batman paused, his gaze fixed on the Bat computer screens. I need to understand their motives. What drives the Whisperer to taunt the city and challenge me in this way? Alfred nodded, offering his insight. It's clear that they want your attention and they're using this city as their canvas. It's not just about committing crimes. It's about making a statement, a message that only you can decipher. Batman's mind was racing, the pieces of the puzzle slowly coming together. The message is key. I need to decode it to understand what the Whisperer is trying to communicate. Alfred placed a supportive hand on Batman's shoulder. You will, sir. You have always been relentless in your pursuit of justice. The Whisperer may be elusive, but they can't hide forever. Batman turned to Alfred a hint of gratitude in his eyes. Thank you, Alfred. We'll uncover the truth behind the Whisperer and put an end to their reign of terror. In the depths of the Batcave, the caped crusader remained resolute, empowered by his own commitment to protect Gotham from this new and mysterious adversary. The battle against the Whisperer would be a test of both intellect and determination but it was a challenge that Batman was prepared to face head on. The days in Gotham seemed to blur into nights as Batman delved deeper into the enigma of the Whisperer. His pursuit of this cunning adversary was relentless his mind a whirlwind of theories and strategies. Each riddle left at the scene of a crime was a piece of the puzzle, and he was determined to decipher it. As he scoured the city for clues, Batman's unwavering focus led him to patterns in the locations of the Whisperer's crimes. The riddles, it seemed, were interconnected, forming a cryptic map of the city's underworld. The Dark Knight had spent sleepless nights poring over the evidence, cross-referencing the locations, and searching for a common thread. The back computer screens flickered with data, displaying a web of information that seemed to converge on a particular district of Gotham. It was there that Batman believed he would find the key to unmasking the mysterious criminal. The Whisperer had led him to this very point, like a chess master, setting the pieces for the final move. With newfound determination, Batman descended into the heart of the city's darkness, to the very epicenter of the Whisperer's web of enigma. The district streets were a labyrinth of shadows, and its alleys whispered secrets that only the most astute detective could understand. As he moved stealthily through the district, Batman uncovered hidden passages, safe houses, and cryptic symbols etched into the walls. The Whisperer's presence was unmistakable, a haunting specter lingering in the alleys. 
Then, in a long forgotten library, hidden beneath a dilapidated building, Batman made a discovery that would bring him closer to unmasking the truth. He found a journal filled with meticulous notes, cryptic messages, and detailed observations of the city. It was a diary that revealed the mind of the Whisperer, their motivations, and their connection to Gotham's darkest secrets. The entries painted a picture of a criminal who had become a vigilante of their own, seeking to expose the corruption and injustice hidden within the city's shadows. The Whisperer believed that Batman, despite his noble intentions, was just another pawn in Gotham's intricate game, and they had taken it upon themselves to expose the truth. The final pages of the journal hinted at a confrontation between Batman and the Whisperer, a meeting of minds and ideals that seemed inevitable. With the newfound knowledge in hand, Batman was closer than ever to unmasking the identity of the Whisperer. The night was coming to an end, but the impending clash between these two obscure figures loomed on the horizon, a battle of wits and ideals that would define the fate of Gotham. The whispers of the city held their breath, awaiting the revelation that was sure to come. The confrontation between Batman and the Whisperer unfolded in the heart of Gotham City within an abandoned warehouse that bore witness to a countless number of clandestine meetings and unsavory dealings. The air was thick with tension as the two enigmatic figures stood face to face, a battle of ideals about to commence. The Whisperer, dressed in a dark cloak that concealed their identity, was an imposing presence. Their voice, an eerie, distorted whisper, sent shivers down Batman's spine. You finally found me, Dark Knight. But do you know why I brought you here? Batman, unwavering in his resolve, replied in his low, gruff voice. I want to know your motives, and I want to unmask the truth. <laughs> the whisperer's laughter was a chilling sound, echoing through the empty warehouse. The truth, Batman. The truth is that you're nothing more than a vigilante. A symbol who fails to see the corruption that runs deep in this city. Batman took a step closer, his cape rustling softly. I fight for justice. I protect this city from criminals. The Whisperer circled Batman, their eyes concealed beneath the shadow of the cloak. But do you truly understand Gotham, Batman? Do you see the darkness that has seeped into every corner? The lies that have tainted every institution. Batman was silent, the words of his adversary causing him to question the city he had dedicated his life to protecting. The Whisperer continued, their voice filled with conviction. I've watched you, Batman, and I've watched Gotham. I've seen your compromises and your failures. So, I've become the Whisperer to expose the truth that you've been blind to. With a swift motion, the Whisperer removed their hood, revealing a face that was hauntingly familiar to Batman. It was someone he had known for years, someone who had once been a symbol of hope in Gotham. Dick? Batman said in disbelief. You're the Whisperer? Dick Grayson, formerly Robin, now stood before Batman. I had to become the whisper of Batman. I had to show you that there's another way to fight for Gotham. A way that doesn't require hiding in the shadows. Batman was torn, his emotions a whirlwind of conflicting thoughts. Dick, I never wanted you to feel this way. I never wanted you to carry this burden. Dick's gaze was filled with remorse. I know, Bruce, but sometimes the city needs more than a symbol. It needs the truth, and it needs those willing to stand up against the darkness, even if it means challenging the ones they admire. In that moment, 
Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson faced a crossroads in their long shared journey. The lines between right and wrong blurred as they grappled with their differing perspectives on how to save Gotham. The city that had shaped their lives now stood on the precipice of change, and the revelation of the Whisperer's true identity marked a turning point in the battle for its soul. Batman had to confront the fact that the city he had sworn to protect could no longer be defined by a single symbol or a single path to justice. The two costumed entities retreated to the Batcave, which provided a fitting backdrop for the conversation that was long overdue. Batman, his cape draped around him, and Robin, now known as the Whisperer, faced each other in the place that had been a sanctuary for their partnership for so many years. Dick Grayson took a deep breath before he began, his eyes locked onto Batman's. Bruce, it wasn't one specific incident. It was the accumulation of countless nights fighting the same battles, the same criminals, and witnessing the never-ending cycle of violence in Gotham. Batman's voice was low and measured. I've always believed in our mission to protect this city, to be a symbol of justice. Dick nodded. I believe in that too. But I also believe that we've been too nearsighted, too focused on our personal war on crime. We've allowed the corruption to fester within the system we've sworn to protect. Batman's gaze was unyielding. Gotham is a city plagued by darkness, Dick. We've done what we could to push back that darkness. And that's the problem, Bruce. We've pushed back, but we haven't really changed anything. Gotham is still a city that breeds crime and despair. I had to become the whisperer to expose the rot at the heart of it all, to hold those in power accountable. Batman's jaw tightened, his thoughts racing. You're right. We've become too entrenched in our ways, but have always believed in the power of symbols, of being a beacon of hope. Dick's expression softened, a hint of sadness in his eyes. I believe in symbols too, but I also believe in the power of truth. Batman, we're not the only symbols Gotham needs. It needs people who will stand up for justice in the light of day. People who will reveal the truth and inspire change. A heavy silence hung between them, filled with unspoken regrets and unfulfilled dreams. Batman finally spoke, his voice tinged with a rare vulnerability. I'm proud of the man you've become, Dick, but I still worry about the path you've chosen. Dick smiled, a bittersweet expression. I know, Bruce, but we all have to find our own way. I hope one day you'll see the value in what I'm doing. And maybe we can find a way to work together to truly save Gotham. As the echoes of their conversation lingered in the Batcave, Batman and the Whisperer remained on opposing sides. But a glimmer of understanding and a shared commitment to Gotham's well-being remained. The city they both loved stood at a crossroads, and the choices they made would shape its destiny. The once partners had now become adversaries, and the tension between them grew. There was no chance that Bruce would compromise his beliefs. He cared deeply for Dick, but could not come into agreement with his conduct. With this determined, yet penitent understanding, Dick Grayson now only saw Bruce as someone in his way. Within the dimly lit recesses of the Batcave, a confrontation was about to unfold, unlike any Gotham had ever witnessed. The cavernous chamber, adorned with the technology and equipment that defined Batman's world, became the battleground for the clash between the Dark Knight and the Whisperer. The hushed murmurs of the cave stalactites seemed to echo the weight of the moment. Batman, clad in his armored suit, stood at the ready, his piercing gaze fixed upon his former protege, Robin, now the Whisperer. It was a tense standoff, a 
culmination of their differing perspectives on justice and their shared love for Gotham. The Whisperer, shrouded in his dark cloak and pulling his hood back over his head, maintained a determined posture. His distorted voice conveyed an air of resolve as he addressed his former mentor. This ends tonight, Batman. I can no longer stand by and watch the city decay from the shadows. Batman's response was steady and unyielding. I won't let you continue down this path, Dick. There's another way to make a difference. The Batcave, once a symbol of their partnership, now bore witness to their ideological battle. The staccato rhythm of their combat echoed through the underground chamber. Batman's tactical expertise was met with the Whisperer's agile and elusive maneuvers, a testament to the years of training under Batman's guidance. The Whisperer's dark cloak swirled as he lunged at Batman, his movements precise and calculated. Batman countered with a flurry of strikes, his gauntleted fists colliding with the shadows. The clashing of wills, both figurative and physical, played out in the heart of their shared sanctuary. As the battle raged on, the cave's shadows seemed to take on a life of their own, flickering and dancing with each movement, as if they, too, were torn between two opposing forces. The Batcave's technology bore the brunt of the struggle, with gadgets and computer screens shattered in the wake of their ferocity. The Whisperer's conviction and desire for justice clashed with Batman's unwavering commitment to his mission. The Batcave became a reflection of their fractured partnership, a symbol of the divided city they both sought to protect. Amid the chaos and the clash of ideologies, it became clear that this battle was not just a physical one, but a battle for the very soul of Gotham. It was a clash of principles and convictions that threatened to shatter their shared history. The Batcave echoed with the sounds of their struggle, testament to the relentless determination of both combatants. The Whisperer, shrouded in darkness, executed swift and agile movements, his cloak billowing as he attempted to outmaneuver the Dark Knight. He was fueled by a passionate belief in exposing corruption and holding those in power accountable, a belief that had driven him to become the Whisperer. Batman, a symbol of unwavering justice, fought back with unyielding strength and discipline. His fists moved with precision, countering the Whisperer's every strike. As the battle reached its brink, Batman managed to corner the Whisperer, a series of deft moves forcing them into a vulnerable position. The dim light of the Batcave revealed the desperation in the Whisperer's eyes as he was faced with a choice. Yield to Batman's unwavering stance, or persist in his mission to expose the corruption he believed had tainted the city. The battle seemed endless, as if they would have to fight to the death. Batman's heart raced, with every beat seeming to pace faster and faster and faster. Bruce Wayne's eyes snapped open, his heart pounding as he awoke from a turbulent nightmare that had shaken him to the core. He lay in the darkness of his bedroom, his breathing heavy, the remnants of the dream still fresh in his mind. In that dream, Gotham had been divided, and his closest ally, Dick Grayson, had become the Whisperer, a symbol of a path he hadn't been able to prevent. The relief of waking up from the nightmare washed over him, but it was accompanied by a profound sense of unease. Bruce couldn't shake the vivid imagery of his dream, the clash between Batman and the Whisperer, the division in their shared mission to protect the city. As he sat up in bed, 
he reached for the photograph of himself and Dick Grayson. The photo captured a time when they had been a formidable team, when Gotham had felt a little less oppressive. The nightmare had stirred doubts about his approach to crime fighting, and he couldn't help but feel the weight of the choices he had made. Bruce knew that he and Dick were indeed on separate paths now. The dream, though vivid and unsettling, had allowed him to confront the unresolved emotions he harbored about their differing philosophies. It was a stark reminder of the challenges and complexities that came with their shared commitment to Gotham. He looked out the window, where the night sky was illuminated by the soft glow of the moon. Bruce realized that the dream, as haunting as it had been, was a construct of his own doubts and fears. He still believed in the symbol of Batman, and he also understood the need for advocates of truth like the Whisperer. With renewed determination, Bruce Wayne decided to honor their shared history, to respect the choices they had made, and to continue his relentless fight for justice in the city he loved. The nightmare had been a turbulent glimpse into the depths of his own conflicted psyche, a reflection of the choices and challenges that lay ahead. The dream, though unsettling, had served as a catalyst for his own reaffirmation of purpose. And as he looked out into the night, he knew that Gotham still depended on the unwavering commitment of the man behind the mask. Whisperer, a story written by Tim Maxwell, featuring the voice talents of Simon Mitchell, Ryder Fleming, Alexander Pond, and Joe Wallace. Narrated by Larry Pearson. Produced by Newverse Creative.